Kenya worst flood in decades. The spirits that are in that region basically said we're not finished yet. Floods and landslides have wreaked havoc across Kenya, claiming 181 lives since March and forcing hundreds of thousands to flee their homes. In the capital, the Red Cross says it conducted more than 20 rescues on Sunday night. <laughs> Nairobi's three major rivers have now burst their banks and the flood waters have found their way to people's homes. Flash floods that came up the hill and swept homestead, homesteads on its way, property, businesses and everything that was on its way. People had to be rescued from rooftops. Nearly 200 people have been killed in Kenya's floods. The waters came, in, it was storm. It was coming in a high speed. Many have lost their homes and they have nowhere to go. So some people are climbing atop trees. Today, a man was rescued after being stranded in a tree for five days. Heavy rains and flooding in Kenya have caused severe destruction in several parts of the country. Emergency services rescued passengers who were trapped in a bus. The bus with over 50 people was swept away by floods on a busy highway in northern Kenya. They've been in the water since 2 a.m. and that's when we arrived here. We tried getting them out with no success. All 51 people aboard the Nairobi-bound bus escaped. In the east, a ravine collapsed into the Tana River, causing it to burst its banks. Thousands of people are displaced, but there are many more missing. The Tana River's burst its banks nearby and submerged the main road. This boat didn't make it. Several people are still missing. Rescuers on Tuesday continued to recover victims' bodies as the number of missing across Kenya in flooding and landslides caused by heavy rains rose steadily. A lorry carrying a sizable number of locals was swept away by raging waters at River Kwamusui. The short journey was cut short by raging torrents of water which swept the lorry off the road and into the swollen river. Rescue attempts are ongoing at the river with some of the lorry's occupants who managed to climb atop the lorry's cabin still waiting for rescuers at the water levels in the river continue to rise. This is the truck. It was the last vehicle to try and cross here on the road. It also didn't make it. The floods have cut off transport networks and displaced hundreds of thousands of people across the region. Devastating floods have killed hundreds of people there and displaced tens of thousands more. Homes, roads, bridges have all been destroyed and the situation does not seem to be improving. Many were washed away as they slept. The water swept away cars, railway tracks and houses. And it came with uh, water, uh, stones and, you know, these huge trees that were uprooted. So you can imagine uh, the force uh, that this water came uh, with. So right now, uh, people, uh, like I said, are moaning, uh, they're in shock and they're just trying uh, to figure out uh, their next move, where they're going to uh, go to sleep and also just where they're going to eat and just to deal uh, with the trauma they say that they have been facing. The river broke its bank and overflowed into Masai Mara. It is one of Africa's greatest wildlife national reserves. Now many parts of the reserve are inundated. About 90 people have been rescued so far, but it's not clear how many are still trapped. Scores of tourists have been evacuated by helicopter in Kenya's Masai Mara National Reserve. This after more than a dozen hotels, lodges and camps were flooded as heavy rains continued to batter the country. The tourists and staff were forced to climb trees on Tuesday night. So far, 90 tourists and staff have been evacuated. It's unclear how many people remain in the reserve. But there are fears that animals have been swept away. 